Uh, so we had uh, DSTV Prem Shabak and Swallows going up against uh, Cape Town City in the game ending 0-0. Gotta tell you, man, I'm disappointed in that result. Yeah, um, I'm disappointed in that result. I expected more from both teams, I'll be honest. I really did. I expect, I mean, you're looking at two teams that came off from heavy defeats. I was thinking that, you know what, this time around they were going to be hungry for a win and sort of go for it and let it go, you know? But I think there was a bit of cautiousness from both teams in the sense that they didn't want to necessarily lose the game. I thought the first half belonged to Cape Town City. I thought they were making a lot of inroads, they were making a lot of initiatives, they were committing men forward as well. And the thing is also Swallows, I, I was disappointed in the fact that also their build-up play was a little bit too slow for me, too slow. because. When they won the ball back from Cape Town City, the builder play was slow, and you, you saw Cape Town City getting their men back into positions, and it was sort of hard for Solos to sort of penetrate. And Solos as well coming with shots from range that were not really that were not really going to test um, 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 the goalkeeper Hugo as well. I would say the second half slightly belonged to Swallows. I thought the tempo went up a little bit. Um, I thought some of the changes that they made in the second half made them more dangerous. Mahalo came on, he made them more dangerous. Monapule with the runs made them more dangerous as well. But the only thing is that when they got to the other side, I don't think Swallows committed too many men forward. And I think it's because they were possibly worried about the counter-attack of Cape Town City if they had committed too many men forward. So even in the other side of the, the when they got to the other side of the box it was just like three men or three men only within the box trying to score a goal and sometimes you need to commit some of those midfielders as well to sort of contribute to either perhaps a shot that may that may come in Cape Town City on the other hand even though despite they were trying to take initiative I thought some of the decisions in the final third could have been better I thought someone was open you could have passed I thought maybe they took long to take a shot there was just too many things that just was not clicking right and the game ends nil nil and I think I don't think there's a winner here. I, I, really, I don't think anyone walks away. I mean, you say Cape Town City is away, yes, but I thought they would have definitely wanted three points for sure. The only positive I take is the fact that when they play each other on Wednesday um, in the MTN8, a goalless draw is going to send them into extra time, and I don't think they want that. So hopefully on Wednesday we get goals for sure.